So today we're going to be reviewing the Aerotech Initiator. So we have our complete rocket here. So this is classified as a mid-power rocket. Some things I like about this model are that um, instead of having balsa wood fins, this has plastic fins. So you don't have to do any pre-sanding before putting them in. As well as what makes the fins easier is they have pre-fitted slot tubes, so you have to you you can't get them wrong. They um, they're already perfectly matched up, so you, all it requires is some super glue. Which is also another thing I like about this rocket is that um, there's no epoxy required for any fillets or anything. Um, only super glue to make sure everything's tight. Um, so really, the only modifications we've made to this rocket are the hole that we've drilled some holes for altimeter data as well as the we've put in a different parachute um, which is a nylon parachute um, so this is about this is a 30 inch uh, parachute and we've as well put a swivel on to prevent as much tangling as possible um, and that's about the only modifications we've made to this rocket here we are back in rock sim with the aerotech initiator um, I have three motors at my disposal at present, so I've got three simulations loaded here. Uh, for the launch that we did, we actually did the F-20W7. Uh, shows an expected altitude of about 670 feet, um, 136 miles per hour, 22 Gs. Um, the deployment uh, was going to be about 557. Um, the optimal delay says about 4.3 seconds, and we're going 7 seconds, so that's actually not ideal. But, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at this. It was kind of breezy, so we had it angled into the wind, had the launch rod angled about 10 degrees. Uh, it launched beautifully, fired up, it wind cocked a little bit. Um, parachute came out. It looked to us pretty close to Apogee, and I'm, I'm pretty sure this went higher than this expected max altitude. We had just launched another rocket before this. This one definitely looked like it went a little higher um, as far as where it would end up. This said it would end up about 280 feet um, away from us towards the wind. That is not the case. It was about 500 feet uh, in this other direction over here. So it didn't follow this exact flight path. Um, the wind was pretty gusty, pretty variable. It, it may have gusted up higher. There may have been, you know, some turbulence up high. I don't know. But it was a, an amazing launch, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to launching this on the G78 motor, getting, you know, 1,800 feet almost, 1,750 feet, and, uh, uh, you know, 285 miles per hour. Hoping those fins don't come flying off. So, fingers crossed. This is the uh, initiator on an F20 motor. First launch. So my review on this rocket is I'd give this 5 out of 5 stars because this is a perfect rocket for a beginner because it's easy to assemble and it flies really great. We've flown it once and it flies on F and G motors and we really enjoyed it. 